fourth graders and welcome back. I am Mrs. Lamondo here to bring you our New Hampshire lesson of the day. So let's get started. Today we are on New Hampshire landforms. Very exciting because we have so many amazing landforms here in our state of New Hampshire and we are going to see my favorite video of all today as well. So I'll let you know when that comes up. So a landform is a natural feature on Earth's surface. What kind of landforms do we have in New Hampshire? We don't have volcanoes, but what do we have? If you're thinking mountains, lakes, rivers, you're right. So first let's start with Franconia Notch. Franconia Notch was the home of the old man in the the old man of the mountain, which we read about earlier in this unit. It stood near the top of Cannon Mountain overlooking Profile Lake. It was a naturally occurring rock formation that was 40 feet from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin. Although you can no longer see the old man of the mountain, you can ride the aerial tramway at Cannon Mountain to look down at Echo Lake and across to Mount Lafayette. It was the first aerial tramway built in North America. So this picture here on the left is a picture of where the old, mount, old man of the mountain used to be. Over on the right, you can also see the flume at Franconia Notch. It is a narrow gorge with sides that rise up about 60 to 70 feet. A swift stream flows through the gorge. It's a popular tourist attraction. Now, speaking of the aerial tramway at Cannon Mountain, this was the very first one ever built in the United States of America. So let's take a look. Hi, I'm, Hi, I'm Greg Keeler from, from Cannon Mountain and Franconia Fran Notch State Park. This week in the Notch, we'll take an exciting ride on Cannon Mountain's aerial tramway. Okay, we're on the move. All right. So welcome, everybody. If, the, uh, if you're aware of the building that you're waiting in line there, the Cedar Shake building on the outside, is a very historic site actually. It's the site for first tram cars ever in North America in 1938. That's where they came out of. Did you say that? <laughs> the newer, more modern tram was installed in 1980 and runs year round. Spring, summer, and fall, it's tourists, hikers, and sightseers, and in wintertime, skiers and snowboarders. Well, here we are at the summit of Cannon Mountain at over 4,000 feet. We made it up here in just over seven minutes, and today the view is just incredible. A trip up the tram is not complete without a stop into the Tramway gift shop. You'll find snacks, sandwiches, pizza, and ice cream, along with our homemade signature fudge. For Cannon Mountain in Franconia Notch State Park, I'm Greg Keeler. We hope to see you on Cannon's Aerial Tramway. Wow, that looks like a ton of fun. It is making me awfully hungry. All right, now let's take a look at another landform. We're going to see lots of video clips today because unfortunately we can't actually travel to these places, but luckily other people have done the legwork for us. So let's look at Kinsman Notch. At Kinsman Notch, many people visit Lost River. Millions of years ago, the Northeast was covered with a glacier. A glacier is a giant sheet of ice that moves slowly over the land. As the weather grew warmer, the glaciers melted, and that is how Lost River was formed. Lost River is a popular tourist attraction in the summer for people who like to study nature. Let's check it out. In 1852, two young brothers in Kinsman Brook slipped, slid, and discovered a magical world of caves, waterfalls, and other natural wonders. Today, you can follow their path down the rabbit hole to the magical world of Lost River Gorge and Boulder Caves. Created by the powerful forces of water, wind, weather, and time, it's a place where towering granite walls seem to erupt from the earth, 
and a river plays hide and seek. Journey back 25,000 years to the time of glaciers and pagan gods. Follow the three quarter of a mile boardwalk to beautiful cascading waterfalls like Paradise Falls. Explore glacial boulder caves of all sizes, each with its own story and personality, some you can walk through. Others like the dungeon and lemon squeeze are for the truly adventurous. While you may of course visit any or all of the caves, many people choose to simply enjoy the views from the boardwalk. Lost River is loved by visitors of all ages from kids to grandparents. Outside the gorge, kids will love the Lost River mining sluice where they can sift for gemstones, fossils, and shark's teeth. There's an ecology trail, nature trail and gardens, and gift shop with food. For the ultimate Lost River adventure, take a guided evening lantern tour. Travel the boardwalk and maneuver the caves in the dark, lit only by headlamps and lanterns. These guided tours run Saturdays at dusk, June through early September, and reservations are required. Discover your greatest adventure at Lost River Gorge, North Woodstock, New Hampshire. Another great landform in New Hampshire and a wonderful tourist attraction, Lost River. All right, and now to my favorite. We'll see if we can get this on. Hopefully we can. So a mountain peak is the top part of a mountain or a mountain that stands alone. A mountain range is a line or row of mountain peaks. The highest mountain range in New Hampshire is the Presidential Range. Five of the peaks are more than a mile above sea level. They are Mount Washington, Mount Adams, Mount Jefferson, Mount Monroe, and Mount Madison. Mount Washington is the highest of the peaks in the Northeast at 6,290 feet above sea level. There are several ways of climbing Mount Washington. The Cog Railway, car, and by foot are popular ways to enjoy Mount Washington. Now this is one of my favorite videos on Mount Washington. Hopefully we can get it to play. Um, if not, then I'll have it for you next time we are together. Let's check it out. Oh, good.
I always find that video so powerful. It was shot um, over a series of days, and obviously they used time lapse to speed it up. In the beginning, when it looks like there's water, those are actually clouds rolling in. Mount Washington is higher than the clouds. So just amazing footage that I really enjoy, and I hope you did too. All right, so let's look at some other mountains. So Mount Shakura is a beautiful mountain peak in Carroll County. Mount Monadnock in Cheshire County is one of the most hiked mountains in the world. You may also have heard of Mount Musilak, Mount Cardigan, and Mount Kearsage. So on the left, that's Mount Monadnock. It averages about 120,000 hikers per year, making it one of the most hiked mountains in the entire world, right here in New Hampshire. And over on the right, that's myself and my husband at the summit of Mount Monadnock. The summit means the very top. All right, fourth graders, well, we're going to pause here for today. Next time we are together, we'll be learning some more information about land farms in our state and then adding some information to our Google slideshow. All right, I will see you next time. Bye.